now we're gonna do a full lap on the skills course, starting with these whoops are really fun. Phew! Nice, kids. Yeah, oh shoot. You probably want to ask me for Saranac Lake because I prefer it to uh, everywhere else. <laughs> Upstate New York is somewhere we have heard a lot about but never ventured up to explore. So in the Adirondacks Regional Office of Sustainable Tourism asked us to come up and check out the trails who couldn't say no to an adventure. The three towns we would be exploring in our trip would be Elizabethtown, Lake Placid, and Wilmington. Through the food, people, and trails, these three towns would each have their own unique personalities. Our first stop would be the town of Wilmington and we could not be more stoked. This is the start of our adventures in the Adirondacks. What's up you guys? So we are no longer in Florida. Right now we're actually, I think in the state of either New Jersey or New York. We're actually at these things which are really awesome. They're like rest stops on toll roads. They call them service areas. We don't have this on the West Coast. They have a bunch of restaurants in there. You can fill up gas in here and the tolls. I feel like this whole portion has just been tolls. So I don't know if that's an East Coast thing. Mo was talking about how awesome this service center is. Um, I don't think so. This bottle of water costs us $3. <laughs> it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> the reason why we're taking all these tolls is because we're trying to get to New York as soon as possible because we have a really awesome schedule plan in the Adirondacks. So the Adirondacks are basically the mountain range in upstate New York. And we're gonna go to Lake Placid, Wilmington, Elizabethtown. We're gonna go all over and explore those mountains. Last time we were in New York, we didn't do any mountain biking whatsoever. All we did was New York City. So this time should be a lot more fun. I think we're going to another toll. I don't know what's going on right now. Hi, can we pay this online? Thank you. In five days and you'll get a ticket. Okay, okay. thank you so thank much. You. Uh, we're gonna continue on keep paying these tolls and hopefully we get to the Adirondacks soon I think we're still about four hours out <laughs> so I think we're gonna collect a hefty bill here yeah hopefully we get to the Adirondacks with some extra cash yeah. <laughs> just like that another toll booth hi can we pay it online thank you there's a lot of tolls here <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> I think those are tolls the cameras I want to say that's what that was. Unpaid toll. How do you even pay this one? Unpaid toll. <laughs> this is starting to become absolutely insane. I, I've lost track at this point. The drive up to the Adirondacks was beautiful, even though we had lost count of the amount of toll stations we had hit. We really didn't know what to expect, considering our only experience with New York is the Big Apple. Wilmington would be our first stop and came highly recommended for both its trails and its lakes. What makes Wilmington so special? Oh, it's just uh, got a good diversity of trails, some kind of a backcountry feel here a little bit. And some of the trails, um, there's some really good jank and some really good flow. It's a great place to ride. Gosh, you know, really, uh, I don't know, the great community of outdoors people. We've got ski great skiing right here nearby, the bike trails. I love the mix of outdoor opportunities. Whether you're a mountain biker, a dog walker, a skier, or you don't outdoor recreate, people are just, very enthusiastic and very welcoming here. So I love it for that. Wilmington is my home. I'm building a house in Wilmington right now. So it's definitely a special place. Um, but really it's just off the beaten path, but you can still get access to everything that you want to do, like right out your back door. You probably want to ask me for Saranac Lake because I prefer it to uh, everywhere else. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, Wilmington's nice, but Saranac Lake is where it's at. All right, you guys, so we finally made it to the Adirondacks and this place is incredible. Really didn't think a part of New York would look like this. I don't know, for whatever reason, our trip to Brooklyn last year just kind of was cemented in the back of my head. I can't believe how naturey this place is. We're in Wilmington right now at the KOA. This campground is incredible. And the most awesome thing about this place is it is so close to the trail. So right now we're gonna pedal to, I believe it's called the Hardy Trailhead. And supposedly there's a group ride tonight, the Hardy group ride. We're gonna check in with those guys and yeah, see what this place is all about. It is so gorgeous and it feels like the typical like American like summer vacation. It just has really cool vibes. And yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. And there's lots of mountains, which means it's gonna be really good mountain biking, I think. We are leaving the the KOA and the cool thing is Hardy Road is pedalable which is so awesome from the campsite. Much as I love Florida it feels so good to be in the mountains of New York. <laughs> the temperatures are night and day better <laughs> than what we experience down there. The Hardy Road and it says bike park this way so super excited for that. It's like we made it to the trailhead. Now we gotta find the people. So we found the group and we're headed to a trail called All In. 
which is supposedly the longest continuous trail in this region. And the coolest part is people in our group are some trail builders and also the vice president of the Mountain Bike Association, which is awesome. Oh wow, this forest is beautiful. Man, what a complete 180 from Miami. <laughs> My name's Thea, vice president of the Bark Eater Trails Alliance, Beta. So yeah, it's a great organization. Um, we build and maintain trails for uh, biking, skiing in the winter. We have over 600 members and lots and lots and lots of volunteers. So we have a lot of different trail volunteer days. Folks can come out. We also have the Wilmington Mountain Bike Festival. So great event on Labor Day weekend. Got two more awesome Howdy. guests. Hi. Your name was? Pete. I'm a trail volunteer for the uh, Bark Eater Trails, Trails Alliance. I'm Ryan. Right, where are you from? I'm from New Hampshire originally. Uh, moved over here to Saranac Lake about a year ago and you know, really reminiscent of home and I like it here a lot. <laughs> we are still making our way up. Apparently this is the short way up. Yeah. There's this, a long way and short way. Yeah, this is not, the long way is a lot flatter. Yeah. Uh, this is slightly shorter. Long. Super solid crew tonight. All, all right, what goes up must go down. And now we are going down all in, but this is called the long route. Excited for it. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of rock slabs. Very promising. Florida, I love you, but I think I love this a lot more. <laughs> Feels so good to be back in some proper mountains. Whew. So I will say though, <laughs> I'm so nervous for my hands. There's trees everywhere. 800 mil SoCal bars. Definitely might be an issue. <laughs> nice kook. Ah, oh, so sick. Oh, what is that? That looks pretty sick. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was so smooth. Nice, kook. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Supposedly, we're making our way to a pretty big drop down here. Excited to check it out. Ooh. This is it. Oh, wow. That looks big. Yeah. <laughs> I'm passing for sure. It's oh, pretty, wow. It's pretty smooth, actually. Yeah. So, trail builder in action. Nice, dude. That was awesome. How are the trails this good? Now, this is only day one. And Pete into this drop. Let's see how it goes. Dropping. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that is so good. The riding was amazing and we were stoked on the community out here. So many awesome people coming together every week for a fun time. The next day though, we had to check out Lake Everest as we were told this was one of the most scenic places we would paddle and it did not disappoint. The water had the most beautiful reflection and it really was one of the most tranquil paddling sessions we had in a long time, even with the mosquitoes. After paddling, we headed to grab some food at Poor Man's Tap House. This awesome spot in town had an amazing vegan burger and for all the beer drinking friends, tons of options for craft beers. They also support the local mountain bike association as well, which is a huge plus. After fueling up, it was time for more trails. All right, you guys, so another day of riding out here in the Wilmington area. This is super cool because we just found a bike park and this place looks incredible. There's a pump track, couple of dirt jumps and some wooden features as well. So we're gonna play around on this thing. And yeah, anytime you find a skills park, it's definitely really rad because you can practice on your skills. And yeah, I definitely need that. Paul and Hannah into the pump track. Nice. Woo. Sick. Now we're gonna do a full lap on the skills course, starting with these whoops are really fun. Phew. Awesome in this drop. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta do that again. Yeah, we gotta do that one again for sure. Oh. Up. Oh. May or may not die on this. I don't really know fully. Oh, we got it. Oh yeah, that was not bad. <laughs> All right, Hannah hitting the. What are they called, teeter-totters? Oh. Not, oh. <laughs> that thing is so hard to keep, because you have to like sprint into it to like get good balance because you don't want to pedal on it. But when you sprint, you're going like side to side a little bit. So you're a little bit like wobbly. 
it's easy to get offline basically. The skills park was awesome, but our time in Willington was almost over and we wanted to check out one more zone, so we headed to the Thune Trails, some of the most rugged trails in the region. All right, so we have made it to the Flume Trails. And I don't know if you guys can hear me because right over here, we have some crazy rapids, which is pretty awesome. It starts off with a climb and we'll put all the information to the trails in the description of the video, the Trail Forks links. So this is called Erratic. Oh, cool, a little wooden bridge. And we're taking this to something called Gulo Gulo. <laughs> I'm sure I'm butchering all the names. Ah, this is awesome. Wow. Oh, wet roots. <laughs> Those are my arch nemesis. Oh, the technical climbs continue. What goes up must come down though. I do also have to admit though, <laughs> that the higher we get up here, a little bit more paranoid I am getting about there being a bear in this region. So, been hearing a little bit of noises. We haven't ran into any other riders. <laughs> a little bit of a downhill here, but I think the end of Gulo is coming up. Woo. Sweet. Ah, oh, don't fall off any of those. Nice. Woo. Up, must go down. <laughs> that is true. And we are going up again. <laughs> the downhill was short lived. Oh but, oh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> she basically tipped over onto a tree, and then the tree, well, what's remaining of this tree, fell down. That was really scary. That was really scary. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't any bigger and I'm glad it didn't like randomly fall on me. But we made it to the downhill. A little bit tired. Oh, it no. was definitely a push to get up here, but I think we got this. That was a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. It was Let's... pretty raw. Yeah. Raw is the best way to describe that trail. Nice. So rocky. Trying to not get hung up here. Oh man, I think Hannah clipped her bar. Oh shoot! <laughs> nice, Hannah. Oh, that was sick. Oh, it's getting fast. Oh no! Damn. And just like that, we are back at the waterfall. It was really fun, but I'm really tired, and maybe <laughs> we should go swimming in this. <laughs> I don't know if we'd make it. Yeah, I don't know either. Let's go. Bloomington was amazing. We were soaked on the trails in the community and we could not have asked for a better welcome to the Adirondacks. More adventures from this region coming soon. Until next time, you guys. Travel awesome. You.